Hello YouTube, it's Yuzaku Blitz here, part 13 of my Mega Man 4 MI run. Wildly Castle 1, Fatal Miscalculation, also known as the level of Sniper Joes. Well, the Joe level. The Mysterious Joe level? Beautiful Joe? Something? Just lots of Joes. Yeah, as you can kind of tell by the theme, there are a lot of Joes in this level, and that's pretty much the entire level. Kill Joes. Keep killing Joes. Keep killing Joes! I found that against the shield Joes, the shield sniper Joes, uh, if you throw your ring in a certain way, it'll get past your shield and hit their back arc, and pretty much estimate the crap out of them. Uh, I pretty much start making explicit use of this, out of every single weapon I have possible. To be on, well, explicit use of the weapons I prefer, but when I think about this, this level probably is easier to traverse if you say make explicit use of your cycle inhaler, because your cycle inhaler will one shot everything in this level, more or less. So you can pretty much use that to your advantage to kill absolutely everything very quickly. And if you have the energy splitter, or if you're very lucky with the if you have the energy splitter and combine it with our search, you'll probably always have like infinite weapon energy like all the time. I just enjoy blowing things up with the HCR boomerang just because of the fact the HCR boomerang pretty much destroys absolutely everything in a couple of seconds, and the sound effect of the HCR boomerang is just fun to listen to sometimes. I really shouldn't be using the cluster really so much in this, because at this level, this is a 7 minute, 8 minute video, and it probably shouldn't be this long just because of how long it takes me to actually kill absolutely everything, because Joes are extremely durable critters, unfortunately. So, it does take me a bit longer than I would like to traverse this level. I should really just be using Toad, Recycle Inhaler, Dive Laser, or Water Cutter all the time. Like, Toad right here would be absolutely amazing, just pretty much blow blows through everything. Once again, I'm being ultra conservative Asian, therefore I decide not to do anything. Not to, uh, well, and then I can avoid you guys' tears. But hey, the level itself is fairly well designed. The placement is nice to play around with. Uh, yeah, Toad does take two, then for my trouble for using Toad, I decide to go backtrack and get two one ups for no particular reason. Uh, this level also has a lot of E-Tanks in it, because I guess this is the first body level and they want to make sure that you're prepared for the coming challenges of what the hell. Uh, yeah, I take too long to get some of these guys, unfortunately. Thankfully, it does speed up a little bit right here, because I don't have as many shield guys to deal with. I still have some to deal with, though. So I'll continue to use my H2O boomerang strategy because I feel it's the most effective way, but it's probably not. Again, Recycle Inhaler will bypass the shield and pretty much kill them all in one single shot. So use that to your advantage. You could probably, uh, again, you could probably even hell wheel through some of these sections. You're very comfortable in your hell wielding skills and you don't mind taking a couple of hits, especially if you get really accumulated like, I don't know, five or six E tanks at this point in time. You can pretty much hell wheel your way through this entire level. There's entire vertical structure sections fairly quickly. Uh, and I, again, I take too long. Again, recycle inhaling. I know, I know, I know. So, uh, I don't know what else to say. This is pretty much the Wadi levels. The Wadi levels are extremely well designed. Uh, especially when you get into Wadi. Well, you'll see. But the Wadi levels are extremely fun to. They're extremely well designed. They're fun to watch. You can't tell because of how much flashing is going on screen, but I only have one pixel of light left, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the loon and get up there, grab the E-Tank, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for the shooting to stop, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump down before they can shoot me. So now that I have a little bit of clearing to work with, I'm gonna go ahead and get some energy back, or some more energy back in case maybe. LIFE! MORE LIFE! So yeah, I'm good to go again. And now, for the only non-Joe enemy in the entire level. 
Boom. <laughs> ah, Rush Cannon. How oh, you are so OP. So this is pretty much the second half. And you might notice that, guys, that seems very conveniently like Mega Man X. Oh my gosh! It's like Ride Armor! Mega Man Ride Armor! So this pretty much as soon as you get to the Mega Man Ride Armor, pretty much the rest of the level is cake. Just kind of blow everything up because apparently everything Mega Man commandeers becomes like incredibly destructive. And no, no amount of no Cyber Joes cannot use these vehicles to the expertise or power level that Mega Man can. Therefore, Mega Man makes everything broken. I don't know if there's any logic to that, to be perfectly honest. But pretty much, the guys can't shoot the, the, the no Joes can't shoot this fast. They can't take as many hits as you're taking right now. And you're pretty much just decimating everything into these hits. And you pretty much bypass the shields too, making this probably a very effective way. And why doesn't Dr. Wally figure out what Mega Man does to supercharge all the stuff he drives? I don't know. But as you can see, you're getting a lot of one else, you're getting a lot of weapon energy. So pretty much at this point in time, you should have all the weapon energy that you can. And now we have a water slide, which... Oh, not water, a jet ski slide thing. I don't even know what the heck it's called. Either way, as long as you're in the water, you can tell you go a lot faster in this than you do before. And now we have this, that fires homing missiles, very fast homing missiles. So you can pretty much just blaze this level. You can pretty much just blaze this level very quickly, I don't know why I decided to stay up here. You can't really see anything, but there is quite a few things on the screen. But hey, yes, you can take the vehicle through the boss door. And when you have one of these at your disposal, oh no, the Super Joe, whatever shall I do? Oh, just sit at the top of the screen and shoot, and shoot, and shoot, and keep shooting. And keep shooting. And I get a crit and kill him instantly. <laughs> so yeah, he splits into two other Sniper Joes and they start doing a little communication dance. And then, now uh, you just kill them. Like so. So yeah, that's why we won. Take care.